My name is Kara Thornhill. I'm 42 years old. At the time of my diagnosis, I was actually in the best shape of my life. So when I received this diagnosis, it really just threw everything through a loop for me. I just remember sitting there thinking about Savannah and Sophia, having to tell them that I wouldn't be around. And I think that was probably the scariest moment for me in my journey because I wasn't prepared to hear those words. You have cholangiocarcinoma. Kira was diagnosed with a Klatskin tumor and that is a type of cholangiocarcinoma. So cholangiocarcinoma refers to cancers that start in the biliary tree of the liver. So patients with um, hilar cholangiocarcinomas or Klatskin tumors generally are offered resection or surgery if the tumors are resectable, but many of these cancers are not resectable due to their uh, location close to very important structures such as vessels. And so for those patients, there is a subset of them who are eligible for a complicated treatment where um, liver transplant was used to treat some patients. The uniqueness of this regimen is this is not something that any cancer center can treat because there is more than the traditional oncology disciplines who are involved in the care of patients. Um, having a liver transplant is the biggest component of this um, treatment and working at an outstanding cancer center as well as the transplant team at UHN makes for a perfect partnership. When I first heard about the protocol I was actually um, in an appointment with the program coordinator and she pulled out this flow chart and it um, detailed every step leading up to transplant. It was actually decided very, very early on. Um, actually, my sister, she had volunteered right away and said, I will, I will go first and see if I'm a match. We definitely share something a lot stronger than, than blood, that is, that is for sure. I put a lot of my faith in, in the doctors at Princess Margaret and I knew from the very beginning of my journey that they had a lot invested in seeing me being successful um, in, in my treatment. I remember my first appointment, uh, one of my primary physicians said to me, you know, we are going to do everything we can to save your life and to make sure that you're there for your children. And I thought, okay, so I am not alone. This is a perfect example of a, a rare cancer where we have the potential to cure patients and help patients such as Kara. And we can do a lot better if there is funding from donors. So thank you to donors for considering funding. There's a lot more we can do and I'm very grateful for, for donors who can make that possible.